Brittany Louise Taylor is a YouTube star with over 1.2 million subscribers whose journey with online dating took a turn that she never saw coming. After an engagement with a con artist, a four-month-year-old four -month month old, and many trips to court, Brittany decided to share her story in a book, A Sucky Love Story, Overcoming Unhappily Ever After. Let's take a look. Bumps in the road, many obstacles. But when we fall, we get up and go, baby. And please give a warm build brunch welcome to Brittany Louise Taylor. <laughs> Brittany, I love you because your energy is so contagious. You have the biggest smile, even though this story is a really kind of tough, serious one. Yeah. So why is this something though that right now you wanted to share this book and share this story with the world? Normally people want to like keep their bag like baggage to themselves, but when this happened, I just had this crazy urge for everyone to know what happened to me because I thought if I can just prevent and save one person, then it was worth it. But I tried to approach it with a sense of humor, like, yeah. ha ha, like this isn't really funny, but it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's like a, I tried. <laughs> it's like a cautionary tale, I guess. Yeah. Um, and, and part of your journey was you were so public on YouTube with your relationship and your pregnancy and your happiness. But then when things started to fall apart, you couldn't share it. Yeah, little so, did they know. Yeah, so <laughs> what was that like? That seemed to be an, an outlet for you. And then when you couldn't share things with your viewers and you kind of had to just hold everything in for so long. It was really painful because I like 50% stayed with me and were just like, it's okay, Brittany, we understand that there's probably something you can't talk about. And then like, like the other half were like, why are you not talking about this? Because they're used to YouTubers like breaking up and then the next day making like a whole yeah. entire <laughs> video explanation of why they broke up. So it was probably just the hardest time of my life because I had to keep making videos. I'm a single mom. I need to keep making money and yeah. support my baby. But there's so much that I was hiding and it was just like horrifying the things I had to to keep to myself, so definitely stronger. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a network of friends and family though during that time? Oh, it's yeah. it's it's so funny because like influencers, even though they want to spill their own dirt, they all kept my dirt in because oh, nice. all my friends that were big on social media didn't say a word and they knew what was happening, so they kept like liking my photos and sending me tweets or like texting me mm -hmm. and trying to show support and. That was like nice to have that because at least some people knew my truth, even though everyone didn't know everything yet. They didn't have all the tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and how has it been now that you are being able to be open about this for your fan base to react to that? Oh, it's I feel like I'm dreaming because like when you hold something in for so long and anyone that's been through any sort of abuse, like when they finally come clean and start talking about it, it's very empowering. Mm -hmm. So it's just been, it's been really nice. Aww. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm good now. It's been, it's been a while. So, like, you know, I had some serious PTSD mm -hmm. when I got out and I would just start shaking for no reason or certain triggers. But a lot of that has gone away. Wow. But love. Just yeah. been, I've been surrounded by love. So when, and also you have a beautiful baby. Oh, who I in do. the video was one of the cutest oh, babies I've ever seen. Yes. Yeah, I'm not even being biased. So he really is. No, <laughs> really is. I would tell you if, if you know. You know, know I, 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 we're like, that baby's so cute. No, so I, cute. I had a nurse tell me at the hospital, she's like, look, normally I just tell people like, oh, your baby's so cute. But she's like, your baby's cute. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, look, because he had these really long eyelashes yeah. too. Like, yeah, he was just born flirting. <laughs> so congratulations on the very cute baby. But Thank also you. when the book came out, it was number 21 on Amazon that in the dating books, which is a huge success. Yeah. So, and your advice is, you give advice on like trusting your instincts, but yeah. paying attention to red flags. Like, how do you recommend for people to do that kind of casually when dating? Oh gosh, there's like the bullet, if you want bullet points, yeah. I think number one is trust your gut. Mm. Cause I, there was just from the start, even though he was so attractive and on paper perfect, I knew it wasn't right. Mm. And I would have major anxiety before every date. So my like, my instincts were telling me like, no, stop, turn around. And I didn't listen to that. But also too, like when people come on really strong, that's usually a warning sign. If they isolate you from your friends and family, mm -hmm. like who would not want you to have a social circle? Mm -hmm. Like that is a major red flag. If you start financially supporting them or they're always making you feel guilty for them and you always feel like you have to fix it, it becomes this weird codependent relationship where you are responsible for their happiness. And that ain't good. Oh, yeah. 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 And you also tell your your fans, don't be afraid of love. Just do a background check. Yeah. First, I love. <laughs> um, and I want to know. Do that the, check. The methods, like, do you, like, is it like professional or? I think you know that you can you can do your own little stalking, like yeah. um, googling. Find out like, what their last name is. Like, mm -hmm. go on their social media. But then even then, they have different. Like, they'll have they may have multiple profiles. I know about that. So you 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 never know exactly who someone is. But I think it's just you know when you do get to the point that you right. can, I would do it just to make sure, I mean, just uh, follow up. Like if right. they are a doctor, are they a doctor? Yeah. If, they are, <laughs> if they are an accountant, 
where do they work at? Right. Like, are there like photos with their coworkers? Because someone telling you something is enough, and you need sometimes physical evidence, right. like photos. Meet people they work with. Like, yeah. not telling people like, don't love. Just like you no. know, just be aware. Yeah. Yeah, and I think that you know, if you're gonna go out, like online dating isn't bad, but like tell someone where you're going, mm -hmm. so they know where you're at. Meet in a public place. Like, don't show them where you live. Mm -hmm. You know, I think just taking it slow is the the best thing. We all want that love story, but it happens when it happens too fast. It's usually too good to be true. Yeah. Which is so opposite yeah. of what they kind of preach to us. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's a whirlwind. It's, it's, it's a not fairy like the movies. Tale. Yeah. And it's like, actually, we're going to do background checks first and go on a couple dates. Like, no, I, think I think that's think great for, advice. I think for me, like, just watching, I, I always say I had this romantic, you know, vision of what love was just from watching movies so much and whatever. And I'm like, life isn't like a movie. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people have ulterior motives as to why they want to be with you. Mm -hmm. And if right away they're talking marriage, Ooh. why? Right. Like, you know, right away they say they're in love with you. That doesn't happen. They may be in lust with you, but they're probably not in love with you. Yeah. Some of the things you're saying are just bearing striking resemblance to this show on Bravo now, Dirty John. You know what's so creepy? Like, my my ex, like, I hung out with him in Newport Beach. I'm like, did he know this guy? Like, do they all... Yeah, yeah. Oh, not, that's... My yeah. mom's like, if we can only figure that out, because I waited to listen to the podcast until after I wrote my book, because I didn't want to... Our stories are, are, are similar, but different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, we're both scary, but, like, no one gets killed in my story. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> that's like a, that's well, like a <laughs> okay, but they don't know who. Um, but like you know, I, I think that the people like that operate the same yeah. way. Yeah. So it's if we know what they're doing and the red flags, we can stop people like that because they all use the same tactics. Right. So that's like my mission is just I don't I don't want anyone. I mean, I was strong enough to survive it, but I don't want anyone to go through the pain that I went yeah. through. Yeah. And is that you know what you want viewers, readers to take away from your story and sharing it? Is yeah, hundred percent. And I've had like a lot of women too. Like I think that there's a stigma around abuse, and they feel embarrassed to talk about it. And I yeah. think I wanted. I've getting so many messages from women saying like, "Thank you for being my voice," mm -hmm. because like they didn't get a restraining order, or they didn't file charges, or they're going through stuff right now. I had one woman. Say last night, like I read your book and now I know what I need to do. And I was like, that that's why I did it. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And you know, now that you've been working on this for so long, um, which I do think, I mean, raising awareness about things like this is, is so important. Yeah. What is next for you? Well, I mean, I when I Rex was younger, I started a baby clothing line and we're donating 10% of all the the profits to Watoto. So I want something that helps empower women and you know give give back and we're also donating like boxes of onesies on the regular so it's called yeah. Rex Kids Wear so we're doing that I think I just want to relax for a little while. <laughs> I, I've just, I've held this in for so long that I just want to enjoy my baby and enjoy my freedom. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, my most, I just wanted my YouTube audience to know what happened to me. I didn't expect it to become this big thing. Yeah. yeah. But if it keeps going more prior to it, and I just, yeah. I mean, for me, I just, I just want to help other women and men in this situation. Yeah, and you definitely are. And I know there's so many women out there suffering in silence, and so you're yeah. giving a voice to them. And so thank you for writing thank a book. You. Thank you. And you can pick up a copy of A Sucky Love Story, Overcoming Unhappily Ever After, wherever books are sold. Thanks again, Brittany. Thank you.